Do you have too many book ideas and have no idea which one to write next? In today's video, I'm hoping to offer you a few little tips to help you decide and get down to writing so that you can publish your next book or your first book. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Mari Suggs. I am a writer and self-published author. And on this channel, I talk about writing and self-publishing tips and how to navigate it all with a positive mindset. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do so before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you find value in it. Without further ado, let's jump into how to pick the next book you want to write when you have too many ideas. Let's talk about the very first one, which is writing the one you're most passionate about. And I know this might seem obvious, but to me, it is the most important one. I know that I have sat there and have had many book ideas in the back burner, but I know there's one that always sticks out the most to me. So that is usually the one that I go for. And I feel it is the most important one. So if you sit down to really think about all your book ideas, make sure you go for the one you're most passionate about. But if you want a more practical approach, if you want to, if this is not really helpful to you, just go about which is the one I'm more passionate about because you're passionate about all of them, then the next tips are going to give you a more practical approach to help you narrow down your choices. Chances are you have a list of topics you want to write about, a story you want to tell, a plot you have running around in your mind. Now, do these topics and the plot you have in mind match the kind of audience that you write for? For instance, if you are thinking about or you are already a middle grade author, do the topics you want to talk about or the story you want to tell match your middle grade audience? If they don't, then maybe that can help you decide which story you want to write. Let's pretend you are a middle grade author and maybe the plot that you have in your mind or the topics you want to talk about don't really match with your middle grade audience, but there's one particular story that really hits home, that really, really matches that middle grade audience. Well, maybe that is the way to go if that is what you are thinking about. If you really want to stick with being a middle grade author, then maybe the next thing you need to write is the book that matches that audience. Next, let's take a practical approach. When do you want to publish? Maybe this will help you decide what to write next. Maybe you have a Christmas story that you want to write, but it's impossible for you to publish it this year because we only have seven months left. So maybe if you want to publish sooner than next December, go down the line and decide, okay, what is something I can publish maybe in the summer? Maybe you have a summer story you want to tell. Maybe you have a winter story you want to tell. Maybe you have a fall story you want to tell. Maybe you can take it from the angle of when can I publish the soonest? Which story will get me to publication the soonest? And maybe that will help you decide which story to write next. Now, remember, my personal opinion is always to refer back to the first tip, which is write what you're most passionate about. But again, if that's not working for you, this is why I'm offering these other tips that will have hopefully get you to publish your book as soon as possible. Next, we're going to talk about considering your brand. Are all your stories in the same genre and sub genre? How important is it for you to stay within your genre? I just published a video talking about the things I would do if I were starting again and Basically, the number one thing I would probably do is I would pick a genre and subgenre. And for me, that would be fiction or nonfiction. For you, you may be fiction and you're saying, no, my genre is fiction and I'm fine. But if you're writing romance and historical fiction and you're writing thriller, those are all different readers. Those are all different people that you're targeting as an author. So when you are considering what to write next, consider your brand and maybe that will help you decide which project you should take on. For example, if you are a new writer, think about the future. Think about what kind of stories will you be writing going forward? Are you a YA author? Are you going to continue writing YA? That's perfectly fine. Now decide what kind of books am I going to write? Am I going to write crime, 
then go down the list of book ideas that you have and see if you have any crime stories. See if you have thriller, if you have historical fiction, if you have romance, see what stories you have that match the kind of writer that you are, the kind of audience that you're going to appeal to going forward and then hopefully that will help you narrow it down and decide which project you should focus on next. Next is to do your research on literary agents and what I mean by that is that usually what literary agents are looking for is what publishing houses are looking for and what publishing houses are looking for is usually an indication of what is hot. If you are having a hard time deciding on which project to write next, what book idea to write next, then maybe let the masses decide for you. Well, what do readers want to read right now? What is hot right now? And then hopefully that will help you decide which is the right project for you next. Next is to ask yourself, how much do you know about these topics? Is one easier than another? Is one going to take you longer to write than the other? If your goal is to write and self-publish as soon as possible, then maybe deciding if a topic is right for you at this time will help you decide which project is right for you at this time. If you want more tips on how to write and organize your writing projects, then watch this video next.